Love is the most powerful thing, and all the other things that you can do, if you don't have love, it's not worth anything. Don't just think it, say it every day. I love you. And never stop saying that, and it'll keep your life strong. Hi, everyone. So my name is Brooke, and I'm Hannah's best friend and matron of honor. I know I can speak for all of us when I say this is truly the most beautiful wedding we've ever seen. I met Hannah eight years ago at the University of Arkansas through our sorority Kappa Delta. We were both away from home for the first time and it was really comforting to meet someone from back home with similar values. When we first met, I was immediately drawn to her confidence, her poise, and her infectiously endearing personality. No, we're not crying. Aww. Aww. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, there's a gorgeous <laughs> I always knew the man that Hannah would end up with would need to be very special. And Evan is definitely that person. He is truly her other half. His compassion, love, and wit are exactly what our strong girl needs. Evan, it is clear to everyone who knows you that you are an incredible person. You are going to be the best husband to Hannah and a leader in faith to your future family. <laughs> awesome. We go to real times. Uh, good evening, everyone. I want to start off by saying that this is a very special day for my brother and his new wife, Hannah. It's also a day that I know that many people in my family have been waiting for for a very long time. <laughs> because I live so far away, I've never met Hannah in person until yesterday. However, after FaceTiming her and meeting her yesterday, I can tell she is an amazing woman and will be perfect for my brother. Like it's a picture like of you and my mom that I love of you. Aww. To close out, Hannah, I would like to personally welcome you into the Elizaldi family. So if everyone would raise their glass and join me in a toast. Evan, Hannah, everyone here wishes you a long and happy marriage, and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for you together. I love you both. To my husband. I'm so beyond blessed that God has chosen to put such a loving, <laughs> kind, and protective man in my life. Even if I didn't realize how much I needed your encouragement, and even more, your unwavering belief in the Lord. I don't know how, but I managed to fall more and more in love with you each day. I promise, even when things get hard, and we may not like each other at times, to love you through it fiercely and remember the covenant we are making to each other today. I promise to love you today and the rest of our lives and work hard in this marriage to show you how much I love, cherish, and respect the man you are. I cannot wait to see what God has planned for us in the years to come and I'm so happy to call you my husband and so proud to be your wife. First of all, I'd like to thank all of our guests you know, we, when 1024 came, we said we were going to have a wedding, whether there were 10 people or 110. Ever since the day God gifted us with a healthy, beautiful baby girl, our life has never been the same. Evan, we have seen the love and the laughter that you've brought to our daughter in the past year, and we are just excited beyond belief. We know you will love and cherish her just as we have done over the years. To my wife. Hannah, you are my everything, including my partner in crime and better half. Over our time dating, I have grown to love you more and more every day because you challenge me to be more than I am, you make me want to be better as a man, husband, and future father to our children. Your love for God and food is a huge plus. Everything else will be built on this covenant I am making with you and God here today. I look forward to the trials and blessings God has laid out for us because we will meet them together until our last breath. I love you. By the power vested in me by the church as a minister of the gospel, I do now pronounce you husband and wife, Evan, you may kiss your wife.
That was beautiful.